Number one, the Moor is one of three common card buildings. This makes the card very easy to overlevel. Number two, the Moor shows do the exact same damage as the Fireball's Crown Tower damage of equal level. Number three, when the Moor launches its shell at a tower, anything touching the Crown Tower will get damaged or even killed. Number four, the Moor is incredibly beefy. When used on defense, it can absorb a great amount of hits from tanks. Number five, when a melee tank is attacking a defensive Moor, the tank is entering the Moor's blind spot, allowing the Moor to target onto support troops. Number six, got no other buildings for the Hog? Place the Mortar at the river to tank the hog's heads and get a free tower shot. Number seven, people can act quick. As soon as you place down mortar, place skeletons or goblins in front of the mortar to absorb quick attacks. It gives you more time to react. Number eight, got no fireball to kill those three musketeers? Place your mortar on defense. The mortar will target the two musketeers first and tank for some shots. Number nine, one of the best counters to the mortar is beefy range units such as the royal giant or the bowler. Number ten, want to make it really hard for the enemy? Place a tesla next to the mortar. The tesla defends and the enemy can't fireball both when left alone. Number eleven, don't log just yet. Most times the mortar can target swarm units just outside the blind spot and one-shot them. Number 12. Got an incoming siege attack? Place your mortar in the center of your base to absorb the hits and fire back. Number 13. The tombstone is the most effective spawner counter to the mortar. Number 14. You don't have a fireball to take out that pump? Let the mortar do that job for you. And number 15. The most effective way of distracting the mortar is placing a knight in this spot, distracting it from across the arena.